Hey everyone, so I heard from a few people, they weren't clear on the places to get feedback, and that's totally understandable because there's, there's several different places you can get feedback from Blackboard. So I made this video just to kind of walk you through that. Um, when you go into the course, the primary place you'll find all of your feedback in one way, shape, or form uh, is this area right here where it says My Grades. So you're going to click on that and it'll bring you to the My Grades page. And this really kind of just lays out all of the assignments that are present. Um, it lays out some key information. So if there's a description you can look at, if there's grading criteria, uh, if, there, if it has been graded, when it's due, uh, over here, when it's due, if you've received a grade, what, it, what that grade is, and uh, if there's actual feedback to do. So if we look at that for this first one where the student, which is myself, so it's okay, uh, I gave myself a zero, and if I click on the little word balloon here, it gives me the feedback, and it says, well, you didn't submit any of the introductory material. Fair enough, I deserve a zero. Uh, but then there's also the uh, different activities where you can get a bit more information. So in this case, this weekly reflective reflection, um, I do have the little feedback icon over here, and obviously I gave myself very detailed feedback. Uh, but I can also click on it, and when I do that, it brings me to the actual item that I took. Now, it'll show that when it was created, when I submitted it, right? So this is, this is when I, as a, as a fake student, uh, submitted it. And if I notice over here where it says Calculate Grade, that is a clickable link. So I'm going to click on that. And it's going to bring me to each of the questions, and it's going to give me the feedback. So right here, you know, comments overall, this is, this is the instructor's feedback to you. But then I can go down and look at each question and see that the instructor has also given more feedback, and that's under response feedback. So you have the selected answer, and that's what the student has submitted, and then what the instructor has given specific feedback on that question. And that's important to keep in mind because I'm likely to give specific feedback, particularly on these reflections, to specific uh, questions since I'm responding to that and I want to, to kind of make sure you know uh, that I'm paying attention and that, that I really value the, these particular reflections. All right, so back to my grades. And it's great. You can always just click on that left-hand side. It'll bring you here. And there's a couple other pieces of feedback that are worth knowing about. So... Of course, I mentioned the little word balloon here, right? Um, but on this particular assignment, if I click on it, it's actually going to bring me to the assignment that I submitted. Now, as you can see it load up, it is obviously a very rigorous and well-written piece. And what you see here is these little blue icons. These are commentary from me, the instructor, right? So I can look at my paper, I can see what I wrote, and then I can see all the commentary from the instructor. I also have on the right hand side here some additional feedback. So what you can think of is on the paper itself, these are usually specific in, in particular things that I'm identifying. And then over here on the right is the overall feedback, things to think about, things to be aware of. So there's that whole piece to it. But as I said, there's more that I can look at. There's even additional feedback to be aware of um, with any given assignment. So if I come down here to discussion three, um, notice with discussion three, there's the view rubric. And so this is another piece of useful feedback because for the discussions, I do provide a rubric. When I click on that rubric, it's going to show me basically the, the rubric and you can see where the green check marks are. That's where I have been scored. So when it comes to content, you know, in this submission, I only got 22 uh, 22% out of 22.75% out of 35%, and so it just gives me what the grade, what what the individual issues or concerns or challenges or things that I did really well with this particular discussion. And this is really important to kind of use moving forward and thinking about how do you improve on what you've done. All right, so there's that piece there, and then there is one other piece I just want to show you. Again, the art, article analysis there is a rubric. Um, but also, if I click on this assignment, and again, it brings me to my essay, depending on how you submit it, or what I happen to be using at the time, I may not provide any feedback here, but over on the right, where you see feedback to learner, you know, I have that, that general feedback, and then here's your paper with feedback. And so, I might click on that, 
it's going to prompt me to open up a Word document. It may be a PDF. And then I'm going to want to open that as well. So it might take an extra second or two, but there'll be more information, more feedback, more things for you to take into consideration as you're creating and developing um, your work within the course. And so as you can see here, I've actually gone in and you know, I highlight, I may highlight things, I may do annotations to kind of like, oh, you know, this needs fixing, this needs fixing, this needs fixing. So uh, just to be aware that there are going, there's several different ways in which feedback can be generated in the course. And I want you to be aware of that so that each time you go in, when you get a grade, know that it's more than just a grade, but that there's usually additional content. I really make sure that and want my students to get a sense of what are the things they need to know and what are the things they need to address as they move forward in the course. Or if they're doing revisions and want to move that, you know, up the, up the quality of, of the work that they're producing. So that's all for now. I hope this makes sense. I hope this is useful and I will see you online.